guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm getting my COVID vaccine and I basically just thought I would vlog it, um, vlog my experience, vlog the aftermath and just kind of see my experience with it. Let me just run down the situation. Um, I'm epileptic which is why I'm getting the COVID vaccine early um, because I basically count as vulnerable so that's how I've got this vaccine now like when I'm filming this it is the 13th of March. So basically how it happens is I got a text a couple weeks ago saying Grace you can book for your vaccine. Yeah so I got that text a couple weeks ago but then I didn't actually get the link to book my test for I think like two weeks after that because they didn't have enough vaccines to book me in so i booked it in for the earliest appointment i could because i just want to get it done to be honest i think this is important to vlog because if you're my age there's a lot of rumors going around about the vaccine i mean when i booked it so many people were telling me that they would never get the vaccine because they worry that there's going to be issues with infertility they don't know the side effects and to be honest something i've actually kind of like scared myself with like the whole infertility thing but I'm just gonna get it because like I just want to get it like I really want to get the vaccine so yes also another thing is I've actually had COVID I didn't go public when I had COVID I didn't tell you guys because I just I didn't really feel the need to like I actually felt really okay I just felt really tired I lost my sense of taste and my, my sense of smell I obviously um I obviously isolated the a whole amount of time um but apparently if you've got covid and then you get the vaccine you get symptoms way worse um so that's gonna be really interesting hi i'm just editing and i've phrased that really badly um what i was meant to say is i had covid a while ago and i wasn't ill from it um i stayed and isolated the amount of time i should have but that's why i didn't tell um you guys because i didn't actually feel that bad um and what i was trying to say is apparently if you've had covid before and then you get the vaccine you're meant to get symptoms which is what i've heard it's currently nearly quarter to nine and <laughs> one more thing is that i'm actually going to view properties today with grace it's completely legal to view properties not for us to live in do not get excited so i just really hope i don't have any side effects because i've got things to do today i need to take an instagram for a brand like i just hope i feel well enough um that's the thing that's probably stressing me out the most is that i'm gonna have some side effects because i've had covid so now we've got all that spill out the way let's go to the covid appointment okay guys we're in the car to go and get the vaccine and i am a little bit nervous now because oh my god have i even got a mask shut the fuck up okay i have thank god for that i just know so many people that won't be getting it because they are scared of infertility i don't know if this is something you guys have heard of um which does make me nervous but they can't prove it and like my sister my sister like supports me with this and she's like you know there could be any side effects from it like there could be diabetes there could be a heart problem you, you, you just don't know um like and the reason they've not tested for pregnancy is because they're not expecting that to be a side effect so why would they test for it that's how i kind of see it so i'm trying not to worry about that to be honest i think you know as soon as we all get our vaccines we kind of go back to normal which is what we all need um so yeah i'm trying to just like not really worry about it and just get the bloody vaccine done i just i want to get it done now okay guys so i've just got back in the car from getting the vaccine i'm gonna tell emma and you guys what happened but everyone is so nice yeah. so there was like a group of girls and they were like oh hi are you here for the vaccine i was like yeah and they're like okay just go through those double doors I went to the double doors and they were like oh hi if you if your name is your last name's a to m go there and i'm like a b c d e g <laughs> trying to work out oh, where s is i work out s isn't in a and m <laughs> But then I still go the wrong way and I go to A&M and I'm like, oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong place. And then, oh, hi, can I take your name, please? So I say my name and they give me this little card. So I got the Oxford vaccine. The AstraZeneca. The AstraZeneca. But yeah, it says, please keep this record. So you put it, this is what I have to keep to prove I've got the vaccine. Um, and then I also got like this sheet about all the side effects and like all of that. So they said okay please go and sit in that chair and there was loads of people i literally was sat there for probably like a minute two really nice ladies i was like oh hi how are you what's your name 
happy and perfect day of birth. And then they ask you all the questions like, are you pregnant? Do you think you're pregnant? Do you take anything that thins your blood? Any like medicine that thins your blood? I got it in my left arm. They didn't, I, they didn't even ask me, they just put it in my left arm. Oh yeah. Literally, I've had blood tests. They're way more painful. And I've had other um, vaccines, I guess, for like other things and they're way more painful. Like, that's probably the least painful jab I've ever had. Like literally, it stung for one second. I didn't feel anything go in or anything. And at the moment I obviously feel fine and feel dandy. I'm really happy I got it. Hey guys, I'm now home now. Um, I actually timed it and I was in there getting my vaccine for two minutes, which is literally crazy. Like, literally I was in and out. Like, I wouldn't even be able to vlog it because I didn't even think about that because there was no waiting. Um, I am now starting to feel a bit of stinging in my arm. I got it in my left arm so that I could like, because I do everything with my right arm. Um, but like, it's not hurting that much. Like, I can hold my camera, um, but I can feel like a little bit of like stinging slashed tingling i'm about to just go to go and view all the properties but before i go i just thought it'd be important to add i thought i would need like id i thought i would need my nhs number you don't need anything you literally just need your date of birth and your name and that's it so it's so so simple so easy to get so quick and also if you are driving you have to stay 15 minutes after the vaccine but my mum drove me so I could just go straight away after I got it done hi guys so I've just come back from viewing the properties it is now nearly 12 o'clock so I've had the vaccine for about two and a half hours and I've not had any symptoms like the singing in my arm stopped I actually feel completely fine um a lot of you guys in my dms have said that you've had it and like had symptoms for like a week um but at the moment i'm feeling completely fine and i'm about to eat some lunch so no symptoms okay guys so please ignore this appearance um it's currently nearly nine o'clock and i feel like shit i literally feel like shit i've got the worst headache and i just don't feel right and i don't know if it's the vaccine or if it's just me but i'm such a dumb bitch i like do arm exercises quite a lot because i don't like my arms and i did arm exercises forgetting i had a vaccine today so i was like hmm hmm and i don't know if that's like triggered it i don't know what's going on i just feel really like shit so that's my update. I just need to chill out. Anyway, there's my update for you. And I'll come back if anything else happens. Okay guys, I'm now freezing. And I don't know if it's just the house, but I've literally got goosebumps. I'm so cold. I literally can't tell if it's just me. I've literally got goosebumps all over my legs. I'm so cold that I'm literally freezing. I keep shivering and I'm on my phone because I can't be able to go and get my um, camera. But I literally keep shivering. My legs, I've got goosebumps everywhere. I literally feel like shit. I'm very stressed out and I just feel very, very shit. nine things took a pretty dramatic turn you may have noticed i was looking a little bit teary-eyed in the last videos my mum and dad came in my room and i just started bawling my eyes out because i really don't feel well like i'm literally freezing like my hands are like ice i have goosebumps all over my legs and i just look very very pale and i have a migraine and i, I keep shivering but I literally have the best parents ever. Literally. They both came and hugged me. My dad put on Beyonce. And my dad came up and moved all my pillows from my bed. My mum made me a hot water bottle. Like, I literally have the best parents. I feel worse than I did when I had COVID. When I had COVID, I really didn't feel ill, Ill at all. Like, I just felt tired. And I'd lost, like, my sense of taste and smell. But nothing like this. Like... I literally feel ice cold. Half nine, I've never gone this, to bed this early in my whole life. Like, I usually go to bed at, like, 12 slash 1. 
um, but I can't even look at my phone because I have a really bad migraine. So I'm just gonna try and go to sleep. So funny, I was saying to my mum, this whole day I've been such an advocate for the COVID vaccine. Like I've literally been like raving about it to everyone, how easy it was and how good I feel, even though I had COVID and if you've had COVID you meant to get bad symptoms. And then it literally just hit me tonight. Like I finished watching my film, finished eating dinner, I was feeling fine and then it all just like turned. I'm so cold, I can't even describe it to you. I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, it's the next day, it is Mother's Day. And hopefully you guys can tell I'm feeling a lot better today. Guys, it was such drama last night, honestly. Like two duvets, a hot water bottle, this dressing gown with my hood up fairy bottoms like it was a lot um but i woke up feeling a lot better it's now mother's day so i'm spending with my mum and my dad and i just feel a lot better today i will say my arm is in agony like literally even just walking like even just sitting here now my arm hurts i'm not even moving it but i'm just happy that i'm feeling a lot better i don't feel 100 percent, but i still i'm feeling a lot a lot better than yesterday so yeah, there's my update. Um, please ignore my appearance. <sighs> I feel so tired. I feel so out of it. Like, I literally feel like I could faint. I just feel so out of it. Like, and I have no energy. Like, I literally don't have any energy, like, to get up or do anything. I can't even hold my camera. So, yeah, I still, I still basically don't feel very well. Um... I mean, I'm in a good mood. I've been able to do quite a lot today, but at the same time, like, I'm not 100% at all. I'm probably like 75% back. It's been a journey, this whole COVID experience, and I really didn't think it would be. Well, I really didn't think this would be as dramatic as it has been. I literally thought I was going to film this video, show you guys that it's really easy to get the vaccine and that everyone should go and get it. And then it kind of turned a different kind of tone. I still recommend getting the vaccine. I've literally felt, um, I felt really sick for about one night. And I know this will, I will feel a lot better in a couple of days. And then you're basically immune for like years. So it's definitely worth getting the vaccine. I've only felt this bad because I've already had COVID before. Yeah, please, please still get your vaccine. It's something that just needs to happen so we can all kind of get back to normal. And I'm so glad I got it. I feel so happy that I'm kind of, I can do more now. Like once I get my second one, I'm basically immune. Um, so yeah, please still get it. Don't let this video put you off. I literally just wanted to show my real experience with the COVID vaccine. I literally just thought it was going to be a complete normal video. And then this happened. <sighs> Hi guys, um, it is 10 to 9. I thought my last clip was going to be my last check-in with you guys and I was going to end the video there. I've got worse as the night's gone on. Um, I also want to let you guys know I'm really not an overdramatic person. Like, even when I'm feeling sick, I usually don't say I feel sick just because I keep it to myself. So, if I say I'm feeling whatever, you bloody know I mean it. I have been feeling like so faint, dizzy and like spaced out for the past probably like three hours. Like I, I literally feel like I'm drunk. Like everything just like fucking weird. Like I feel so spaced out and I just feel like I'm going to faint in a minute. The reason I didn't really publicise that I had COVID was because I was still like filming for my second channel. Obviously like all in, at my own home. I was still taking Instagram to my back garden like with my makeup on everything in the comfort of my own home but that's why i didn't document it because i really didn't feel that bad but this is literally on another level like i've never felt like this to be honest um and it's so weird because in the mornings i feel all right and then as the day gets on i just feel worse yeah i'm gonna go to bed now and pray and hope that i feel better tomorrow so i'll speak to you guys tomorrow hi guys um so finally doing the outro of this bloody video it is tuesday so it has been a while since i got my vaccine and i can finally say that i no longer have any more symptoms i know how exciting um i've had i had symptoms obviously for a couple of days 
and even like monday i was feeling actually really fine on monday i woke up feeling really hot and like a bit dizzy but i just had a like, massive bowl of cheerios and i'm feeling fine so i've been finally in this video saying that i feel so much better my symptoms only lasted two days so so it's so worth it i would so recommend going and getting your covid vaccine i mean i feel so much better now i've got my first one and i'm not even 100 percent protected yet because i've not even got my second one but i just feel so much better and just so much more um like safe just going out now that i've got my first vaccine so yes i would definitely so recommend going to go and get your vaccine and i'll see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.